Oh man. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Quick video today. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that has this problem. We have a freezer in the garage and the outlet that it's connected to is a GFCI outlet. And it is on the same circuit as my outdoor outlet in my front porch. And once in a while, especially when we use power tools and loan equipment, it will trip the outlet. Most of the time we will know because the tool stopped working, but a couple times it tripped at the time that we are done using it. Or it trips by itself, I'm not really sure but it did happen a couple of times. We also don't use the freezer as often as our refrigerator, so we will not know that the freezer doesn't have power until it's too late, which when everything is already thawed out and needs to be thrown out. Another scenario, and this has happened to us also more than a couple of times, and I know a lot of you has this happened to you too, when somebody forgets or just didn't properly close the refrigerator or the freezer door. In this scenario though, this can be easily prevented by using contact sensors or even a simple plastic refrigerator latch. But this will not help or alert you when power to the refrigerator or freezer is out. And this is where the Yolink temperature and humidity sensor will help. And this is what we are going to check out today. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. I set up the Yolink water leak sensors and their valve controller a few months ago. And I set it up so that the, when the water sensor detects water leakage, it will automatically shut off the water supply at the house, minimizing flood damage. And this setup has been working good, no issues. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it down below. Yolink found and appreciated that video and they reached out to me to send me more sensors that they make. So thank you, Yolink. By the way, their sensors and devices need the Yolink hub, which uses LoRa or long range frequency to communicate. And that signal can reach up to a quarter of a mile or 1000 feet. The hub connects to the internet or Wi-Fi so that it can send you notifications on your phone and you can access the device settings, set it up and control them in the Yolink app. But the sensors and their devices themselves don't need Wi-Fi or internet to function. They sent me their speaker hub, which I'll replace their original hub with, and also a couple of temperature and humidity sensors. Setting up is pretty easy. As you can see, their new speaker hub is smaller than their older hub, but this can only connect to Wi-Fi. There's no Ethernet wired connection. As the name implies, it also has a speaker and can play tones, alarms, and custom messages, which I'll show you how to set up later on. Open up the Yolink app. Click the scanner icon to set up the device. Scan the QR code on the back of the speaker hub. Plug the hub in using the included power adapter and the micro USB cable. And click bind device. Press and hold the setup button for more than 5 seconds. Go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the hub's Wi-Fi. Go back to the app and click continue. Choose the Wi-Fi network you are going to connect to and type in your password. Wait until it is connected and it should pop up in your device's list. I can now remove and unplug the older hub. Time to set up Yolink's outdoor temperature and humidity sensor and this is the one that I'll be putting in inside the freezer. It comes with two AAA lithium batteries that can last up to two years before needing to be replaced. Adding it on the app is pretty easy. Scan the QR code on the back of the sensor. Click bind device. Press the set button on the back of the sensor and wait until it becomes online. And you will see the current temperature and humidity. Time to place this inside the freezer. There are several factors that updates the sensor's temperature and humidity readings, like when there is an abrupt change in temperature at a given time, and if not, it updates every hour. I have to set my parameters so that it will give me an alert when the temperature rises in my freezer. Clicking on the sensor, it will show me the current temperature and humidity reading. You also have a history option, and a chart which will show you the changes in temperature hourly or daily. Click on the three dots to get to the sensor settings. Click alert so we can change the temperature range. It is going to be the coldest, but whenever the temperature rises up to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, it should trigger an alert and will notify me. I'm not going to touch the humidity range. On the alert interval, the minimum you can set is every 10 minutes or up to every hour. And let's set up some automation to have the speaker hub sound an alert when the max temperature that we set is reached. Click smart on the bottom and click automation. Click the plus sign and name your automation. Choose when and click device actions. Click on your sensor and there are four options to choose from and mine will be the high temperature alert. Click the plus sign on the behavior and choose device actions. And I'll choose the speaker hub. You have different options here. You can play a tone if you want which you can choose from different sounds. But what I'll do is play audio 
and voice message. In here, I can type in the message I want the speaker hub to say, which is check garage freezer. You can set it to repeat from one to three times, adjust the volume, and we can test it. Check garage freezer. Check garage freezer. Cool, so aside from the phone's alerts, the speaker hub will also say the alert message. Yolink also sells the regular temperature and humidity sensor that has a screen, which I will also set up and will place in our back porch area so that I will have an actual reading of the temperature and humidity in my backyard, which you can see it is pretty nice and cool out here. Well, I'm being sarcastic. Yolink also sells an outdoor temperature sensor that has a probe on it and is perfect for checking your pool temperature. I'll be adding more sensors and we'll check out Yolink's other products in my future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.